Hey guys, I'm back, and today I have a new custom LEGO minifigure showcase video. Today I am showcasing these guys, these these two boys from a certain CW show. This is my follow-up showcase to my Flash and Reverse Flash uh, minifigure showcase. Let me just move the camera up a little bit. There we go. Um, but yeah, this is, these are my um, custom LEGO minifigures from, well, Arrow, and then Deathstroke from the CW show Arrow. Um, so yeah, I, um, the reason I, that you might be thinking like, oh, he, that's a season four costume and this Deathstroke is a season two villain. The way I'm doing this is, uh, I'm making everybody, I think I said this in my flash video, but I'm making everybody in my favorite, in my favorite costumes that they wear. So like, you know, I made Batman in his Dark Knight, uh, Returns, um, uh, costume. And I made Flash in his season one costume. I made Shazam in his movie costume. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make Superman in his Dark Knight Returns outfit because his Dark Knight Returns is, is great. Um, and I just like you know classic Superman like that. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, let's just uh, get into this uh, with uh, Arrow with Mr. Um, Oliver Queen. Here we go. Um, so yeah, this figure was uh, pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie. Painting those buttons here, you can't really see his eyes because of the light. There you go. That's what his eyes look like. This was obviously an angry clone face. Um, for, for those of you who don't know, I only use angry clone faces to uh, customize. I don't really have any. I kind of ran out of some, so I don't really have any on the hand on, on hand right now. But yeah, I painted everything around the hood, around, around the around the face, and I painted the hood and lines go all the way to the back. Um, for, to get his accessories out of the way first, uh, he has a brick forge bow. Uh, he always falls over. Come on, stand up. Come on, there you go, stand up. It started out as just a regular Brick Forge recurve bow, which I don't think I have on hand right now. Uh, no, I do not. No, I do not. So I don't have a Brick Forge recurve bow, but it started out as just one of those. And uh, yeah, so I glued on those wheels from a Brick Arm Brick Forge, sorry, compound bow, and then I glued on the and I glued on and sculpted those uh, front bits areas, and I ran a green string through the holes. So yeah, let's just take that out of his hand because. This minifigure is very fragile, so I'm just, I take, I'm just moving him off, off screen to take the stuff out of his hand. Uh, yeah, the arrow is also a Brick Forge arrow. They come in three packs like these because, like they, they just do. They come with like a, a spear tip, like not a spear tip one. They come with like a like a like a cylinder. Not fuck. What what is it called? A cone. A cone shaped arrow. Um, a boxing glove arrow, and then this you know arrow arrow like this flat point arrow. I decided to use that since it's more accurate to. What do you, to what does arrows look like in the show? It wouldn't be a juicy customs video if I don't drop the figure. So let's just take that out of his hands and move his legs so I don't keep dropping them. There we go. And I'm gonna put him on a stand so I don't keep dropping him. So yeah, there he is, um, arrow. So focusing on the actual figure, um, you can see that he he has um, a very detailed torso. Um, I paint everything on there is 100% hand painted by me. If you didn't know, um, all of those canisters are really hard to uh, cut out glue on and paint, by the way. Um, I painted th these little circles inside of his uh, little a uh, areas. He has like a million little canisters on each si side, and obviously I couldn't fit them all in. I, tr I only fitted what I could, what I could, you know, reasonably fit in. If I really wanted to, I probably could, maybe, but I can only fit about three in there, so that's gonna have to work, and I didn't want them to go all the way down to like here, so yeah. Uh, the torso has some basic line work, um, similar line work to what I did on the Flash. So yeah, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see that. There we go. Um, similar, it's just line work that I did. Lines are never really that fun to paint, so that was that was a task. And getting that gunmetal line uh, zipper to go up the, the the chest was really hard. And uh, the arms were really fun to make because. They're just, I just really like the detail on the arms. It's just really clean. I, I, I think everything on this figure came out really clean. And I actually painted the green, and then I painted, I did two layers of flesh paint over that. So that was definitely a lot of fun to make. And, uh, yeah. So I did the arm, same arm. Each arm is the same. Um, I wanted to order some tiny tactical glove tops uh, for this figure to top off the arms, but... Just didn't have time to put in the order, so whatever. Um, and I wanted this figure done at like at, at a reasonable time. So yeah, moving on to the legs. Um, uh, still more buttons. I painted on these straps, and I know they don't meet in the middle. It's actually supposed to be like that. They don't. They actually don't. Aren't supposed to meet in the middle, according to the reference I looked at. So yeah, that, I think that's pretty good. Uh, the side of the legs, not much detail. I couldn't find a lot of reference for the side of the legs, so there's just not, not much there. Um, boots detail. 
uh, obviously all the stuff goes around all four sides of the legs. Don't have legs are really hard to move, and it's fragile, so I don't want to mess around with it too much. Um, so yeah, that is Arrow. I'll do one more 360 of it. Oh yeah, the quiver. The quiver I got from a brick link order. I got it was like one. It was like ah, stuff is falling everywhere. It was like one of these quivers, and I cut off the neck peg because it's pretty thick. And it made him look pretty like a giraffe. So I cut that off and replaced it with fabric. So yeah, I'll give you one last 360 of the figure. There's the quiver, painted it green. And uh, yeah, that is my custom Lego Arrow minifigure. Now let's just move on to Deathstroke, or uh, Slade Wilson. Best villain of the CW shows. That's not true, but Zoom is really close, but I don't know. So yeah, here is Deathstroke. Here, let me move him. There we go. There is Deathstroke, and to get his accessories out of the way, Brick Arms gun, don't know what kind of gun that is. I bought it off of, obviously, Brick Arms, gave it a gunmetal wash. So, yeah, I'm just going to take that out of his hands. There we go. And then this sword. This is the cool, this is so cool, I think. Um, there's the back of him. Not much detail. I couldn't find that much detail uh, reference for the back. This sword, I was th originally thinking of using, like, a, like, a regular Lego host holster. Like the same kind that I used on like Deadpool right here. Like a regular Lego holster. So yeah. But uh, I keep saying so yeah. That's just my transition from every sentence. But I actually used a magnet. A tiny magnet to magnetize the the uh, the sword. So I put a magnet there. I glued one there. That was tough. And we're gluing magnets is never hard. I mean never easy. Because sometimes they glue them. And then. Ooh shit. I messed up the camera. Sometimes you glue them and then they stick. And then you, when you take the magnet off it comes with it. So it's really no, it's really never easy. So um. I got the magnet on the, on the side of the sword, so I can just stick it there, and it stays. So yeah. Um, the helmet. Um, now, this is actually a helmet, not like my Flash showcase where they're just cowls. Um, um, I sculpted around a minifigure um, head, something like... I don't know, I don't have a good minifigure head on hand. Something... Oh, Jesus Christ. I... Like a... Here you go. Like, just a normal minifigure head. I hate my life. Um, like this, I just sculpted around that. And I think it was a pretty clean sculpt. I think it turned out pretty well. And as you can see in the back of his head, I did his two bandanas. So let's just take the sword out of the way. So we can look at the rest of the figure. Um, yeah. The um, front is 100% painted. Uh, those, I couldn't find much. I mean, the, I, I found a lot of reference, but it looks really under detailed to me. And that's because I think just most lots of the detail comes from his pads and his buckles on the front. So I tried to emulate those as best I could on here. With obviously there is pads and his buckles are there, 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 and then there's one hiding behind there and there. And there's another one hiding up there. These canisters, I have no idea what they do, but um, I don't know. They're just there. I, there were supposed to be three of them. Again, there were supposed to be three of them, and they're thick canisters. They're not like normal like Arrow. They're not like the ones on Arrow where they're thin. These are way thicker, so, and I, I, that's not my fault. That's just they are in the sh in the show. They're way thicker. So, yeah, that's, I made them thicker. I can only fit on two, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, there's a pouch, painted the pouch. I had to glue, I had to paint that and glue it on. And obviously I had to seal these over. Some of these things were really hard. I had to seal over because, I, like, um, for Arrow, I had, to, I had to seal over every single one of these things. So that was really hard. Um, yeah, legs, uh, very easy to do. It's basically the same sort of general idea as the torso. Um, they have each canister on here, each canister. Um, they have the the pads. The pads, the legs are really fun to make. The pads worked out fine. They're a little uneven, but I can fit. But I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you, man. I tried. Um, the belt is painted. Uh, all of these are painted. Uh, the arms are really really cool looking. I really like the look of the arms. Um, just really self-explanatory. Everything's painted. All, more buckles and stuff like that. Same other arm, everything's painted. I have two shades of metallic blue. I have this. Everybody says this looks like a metallic dark gray, but it is clearly a metallic blue. I used it on my Captain America for his scales. And then I have another shade of dark blue right there. I mean, uh, metallic blue right there. And his shoes are also, his boots are gunmetal. So, yeah, that is basically it for my CW Arrowverse minifigures. Um, big, big Fig Cartman just fell off my dresser. Great. Uh, those are that's pretty much it for my CW Arrowverse 
minifigures. I don't really have any other Arrowverse minifigures planned because honestly, I'm going to be completely honest. All the other Arrowverse shows kind of suck. So, yeah. Uh, more DC figures are going to come. I'm sort of on the DC grind a lot lately. Um, oh, there we go. That's a nice thumbnail shot. Um, I've been making a lot of DC figures. Like I made Batman, Flash, and now I have Arrow, Deathstroke, and Reverse Flash, so, and Shazam. So I'm going to make some more. I'm, working, I'm slowly working on my Justice League. Return of the Jedi figures are still happening. I don't know when they're going to fully happen. I also have some various Tarantino figures that I want to show. Um, just... I'm going to make a ver another various custom Lego minifigure showcase uh, video sometime soon, which is where I have various custom Lego minifigures that they don't really fit in anywhere. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, figures will come when they are made. Um, that's really it. Stay safe and wash your hands and have a good one. Bye.